Now we're standing in a section of the grove that was devastated by a disease called laurel wilt. You see how wide open, you see how many trees are missing, right? You're used to my videos where I'm, I'm in shade, I'm covered in trees. Well, this is a big wide open area. We had to cut about 10 or 12 trees out of this section. Laurel wilt is a disease that's caused by an invasive fungus carried by an invasive beetle. And what happens is the beetle's flying along and he's got this fungus around its neck and he burrows into your tree and deposits the fungus. And that fungus infects the tree. But if you notice behind me, we have our grove, we have our trees planted in rows. When these trees were originally planted, they dug a huge trench and just planted them in trenches and then filled the trenches over with dirt. Well, over the decades, the trees within the trenches have formed root grafts. Their roots have actually grown together and grafted. So it can be said this row of trees here is actually one big giant organism. It, it shares a common root system beneath the ground. The problem with laurel wilt is all you need is one tree to get infected. The disease goes down into the roots and then just travels from tree to tree to tree through the roots. So we try to get to it quickly, as soon as we see it, and we get rid of the tree. Now if you get to it early enough, you might be able to save the tree, like this one here behind me, this tree right here. There were two branches, two like a Y coming off the main trunk. I noticed one of them was infected. The trees weren't, e the leaves weren't even brown yet. They were nice, still green leaves, but they were just starting to die. And I saw signs of the beetle, you know, infecting that part of the wood. So I came out with my chainsaw, cut it. That was about four years ago. And I'm, I'm now on my fifth season of producing avocados with this avocado tree. And then right here is an example of a tree we were able to save using another methodology. When I noticed this tree was sick, we actually took a grinder and boom, flattened the trunk flush with the ground. This tree has since grown back and it actually flowered this season and produced little tiny avocados. So I'll see if it gives me a crop this year. So one methodology was to cut off the infected branch quickly and it saved the tree. Another methodology was to buzz the trunk all the way down and it has grown back healthy. A third technique that's been shown to have some success is to actually cut your tree at about six foot height. So I stumped this thing and got rid of all the branches. And this tree has also grown back. It flowered this year and it's producing fruit. Let me show you the fruit. However, that doesn't work in all cases. I tried at least one, if not a combination of those techniques in this big blank spot you see behind me and I wasn't able to save all the trees. The good news is today we get to plant new ones.